Hey guys, so I'm here with my mom, my dad, who's in there, and my brother. Hey, what's up? And guys, I figured it was time to take them to an awesome, awesome place. Mm -hmm. I think some of you guys might already guess where this awesome place is. Mobile High Squad, I've taken them to. CrossFit! Yes! Joe's gonna work out with me. Yes? My dad, I don't know, he, he's more used to treadmill, no? You're not gonna try? Mommy, you're not gonna try? It will hurt? No! It's adjustable and we're not doing that. That's the other class. My dad's fully dressed to work out. And my dad is so active. He totally can do this. Sadly, Raquel is sick. Just like all of us. And so she won't be making it today. Raquel, we're gonna miss you with this workout. Joe, are you ready? I don't know. <laughs> it's been like months since I've worked out. But I'm gonna do my best. I'll try. I'll probably puke. <laughs> but, but that's just the way it is sometimes. Ready to die? I am. Me too. Hold on, time. How is it? I'm not tired. I'm, I'm just pretending to be tired so that people don't get mad at my ability to maintain high energy. We have one minute rest. Okay. Now we gotta do 33 burpees. Oh. Guys, I don't know if this is worth it. Oh, I can't move. Oh. Oh. Why? 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 Joe, how was so, it? It's good. You can see this? Sweat, it grants wishes. Oh. It makes your dreams come true. Yes! I'm done. I felt like I just built Noah's Ark. Seriously. I mean, it's not gonna rain now. Do I wish it did? WODs, Watts, oh man, CrossFit. Yeah. <laughs> Literally, I can't get out of here. Seriously. Joe, how was your first class? It was easy. Easy? I'm not even tired. Look at me, I'm not even tired. Easy. Okay, no, I'm, I'm dying. I need oxygen. I think I, I'm dying. I can't get up. I feel like I'm on the planet Mars. I, made, I only made Suka seven times. Alright, Mikey. So first, we had jumping jacks, right? Squats, and then high knees, and then like kind of like burpees. I don't know what they were called. Oh, sprawls. Sprawls, okay. So coming in here, that was the first exercise. How did that make you feel? I feel good. Okay, and then afterwards, your heart rate was up, right? And we did. And then we did. At what point was it like, Killer. You know, yeah, killer. Well, after the first set of exercises, I was dead. But then the last 33 burpees, I pushed myself almost to unconsciousness. But I'm usually okay. I'm not usually like this. I think it's because of Barakai and I'm coming off sickness. But oh, this is what CrossFit is for. It's to like push you to a limit. And I was pushed to my limit. I can't even get up. Like. My head feels like a block of lead. How long have you been lying on the floor now? I would say a good half an hour now. When did this uh, class finish? What time? 8.45. Okay, so what time is it now? I'm not sure. Elmer, where am I? What time is it right now? 9. Oh, okay. I've been so on the ground for 15 minutes. Mikey has been on the ground for 15 minutes. Feels like half an hour. I've lost all sense of time. <laughs> Good afternoon, Mabuhay squad. On our walk now with Legaya. And guys, I believe I almost died last night. Seriously, like I was half conscious. Let me cross the street fully conscious right now. I was half conscious and could not get off the floor for a good 20 minutes. I don't know what it was. I think it's because I was still like kind of sick and trying to work out still. 
and going all out but I could not get up I like if I tried to get up my head felt like a block of lead seriously it was oh I thought I was going to die and I came back to full consciousness like I don't know a good half an hour later wow what a workout never doing that again I'm gonna wait till I'm better before working doing CrossFit anyway guys my hair is so long now oh man I wonder when I'll be able to comb it I'm gonna be able to comb it and style it you know what I mean like pomade or like maybe gel or wax Right now, it just kind of looks scruffy, and I guess I have to condition it. Nagaya, we're walking out a little bit late today. Sorry, because I've been editing. What else is new? Rendering. Yes. Ooh, almost done this Ants Canada video. I was able to get a haircut. <laughs> the hair is growing in, guys. And right now, Nagaya's, as usual, in her cooing, cuddly phase. Yeah. Is this cuddle time? Is this our cuddle time? Hmm? Seriously, she gets like this several times a day now i don't want to baby her too much right that was one of the things that enlightened me from our recent vlog i don't know if you guys saw it from yesterday it was a conversation with bird tricks and uh it's a couple of professional bird trainers if you haven't seen that vlog go check it out after this vlog and wow mind-blowing if i baby her and get her used to a certain lifestyle then if ever we don't follow through with that lifestyle later on that's when she'll get sad and like get insecure and all of this. So I'm not gonna spend hours cuddling with you all the time. Just on days that I feel like being cuddly. Mm -hmm. So that you know sometimes there are cuddle days and sometimes there are days that are where I'm busy or not here to cuddle. You just have to know. You have to be adaptable to change, Ligaya. You understand? Mm -hmm. But this is one of those cuddle days. Such a good bird. Mabuhai squad, we are so lucky to have a bird like this. Okay, are you gonna pick my nose? Are you gonna pick my blackheads? Hmm? <laughs> RJ, what are you drinking? Drinking? I'm eating honey. Oh, why? I got sick. <gasps> Your virus is very, very strong. It's not my virus. <laughs> Guys, everybody's getting sick, including Raquel, everybody. Even my dad got sick, but his was a different sickness. Yeah, I guess it's something that's going around. It's a bug. It's okay. You're just eating it raw like that? Yeah, I like it. It's like Nutella. No, you know what you should do? You should heat it in the microwave with squeezed some lemon on it and the acid in the lemon will unlock the peroxides in the honey which act as the antibacterial. Yeah, Mr. Science. <laughs> it's true! Guys, bees are amazing. They figured it all out. I can't wait to have a bee farm at the Mabu High Squad property. And guess what? I know I keep saying this, but for those of you who are new, they have stingless bees here in Southeast Asia, here in the Philippines. Seriously, like native stingless bees. I can go in without the gear or smoke. You know what I'm saying? Won't that be fun? <gasps> I would love to film that for Ants Canada. Wouldn't that be awesome? Our first bee kingdom. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go have dinner. How we do? <laughs> We're taking a tricycle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to the Philippines, guys. fun ride. I just needed to s sit on this little carriage section. <laughs> Salamat kuya! Guys, you remember him from our coffee parody? Yeah. Yeah. 
Yes, that's him. All right, guys, so for dinner, it's Taiwanese food. Mm -hmm. And guess who else is having dinner with us? Jaya, yes. Jaya, do you miss Taiwan? I do. I miss the food. Yeah, the food in Taiwan is great. Mm. As for my family, they're resting at home. They don't want to leave the condo. My dad is sick. My brother is still coming over his sickness. So it's a rest day for the Bustos family. We have some Chinese tea, Taiwanese tea. Oh, the wind messed up my hair. So while we're having this delicious Taiwanese food, we're actually here because of a very special, special event and reason. And this reason is pretty monumental and important to myself, to RJ, to the whole Mabu High Squad. Guys, the reason why we're here, having a delicious grand meal. Mm. is because 